Yes. In. Yeah, got a couple on here. nine of the trip and um, we've come to Cromarty um, which is on the east coast not far from Inverness uh, we were here last year and we caught a load of mackerel on the pier so we thought we'd do this because it's for last night and it's kind of on the way home uh, we're just about to go out and do some fishing and it was nice and sunny but as you can see over there there's a huge cloud of rain coming down. This is what it, this is what the place looks like. It's a nice place and it's really deep just off the pier. So we're going to fish here for a couple of hours um, and then we're going to go and find somewhere to stay for the night. Um, we might come back here in the morning and just get a half a dozen mackerel or so to take home just to put in the freezer to use for bait through the winter. So uh, I'll bring you back when we get on to the pier. I don't know how he's managed that. Well done. It's a new species. Does it count? You must have hit the bottom, did you? I don't know if you can hear this because it's blown a gale here. But this is the pier at Cromarty. And this is us idiots trying to spin on it. Hopefully it'll not be this windy when we come back in the morning. It's hard to keep the spinner down in the water, the wind's kind of just blown the line. I've got a starfish as well. This place must be hoaching with starfish. That's mad. Oh. If the aim of the game was to catch starfish, we'd be doing really well. But unfortunately, it's not. wind the big rod in, see if there's anything on there. It was biting a little bit earlier. No, it doesn't feel like there's anything on. Oh! There's a fish just jumping out of the water from your bait. Yeah? Something just jumped out of the water to catch me bait there, so I'm just going to chuck a spinner in down here. like a mackerel. That is little mackerel. <laughs> little mackerel just off the side. It must be a shoal of them. It's a bit small him isn't he? I'm going to chuck him back because he's a bit small. Yeah he's a wee. On the rod there, that was canny. It's 
just down the side. Oh yeah. I'd probably do that if I had a hook stick me gob as well. I think we'll keep that one. It's a decent size. Right, we're going to have the last couple of trucks because this is what it looks like. And I'm sure you appreciate how freezing cold we are. going out. We should pack up. Right, we've packed up guys. We're heading back to the van. Uh, we've had a couple of hours and we've had a couple of fish. But the intention is to come back tomorrow, hopefully when the weather's a bit nicer, and pack a bag with some mackerel, ready to put in the freezer for winter baits. So I'll see you in the morning. First mackerel of this morning, tomorrow. Too small to keep though, so it's gonna have to go back. Yeah, got a couple on here. There you go. Two for the freezer, ready for winter bait. Another nice mackerel. Oh. Can you mind? Another one for the bait box. Slip hooked. Nice and easy to get out. You got another nice canny mackerel. Starfish fishing. Yet another one. There's, there's been loads pulled up yeah over the last few days it must be a thing on the bottom just like a starfish forest got it off and get it back in Well, it hasn't been quite as productive as we thought it was going to be today. There was a couple of um, a couple of gentlemen down before us and they said that the fishing hasn't been anywhere near as good as last year. And that would be correct because we were here last year and we were just pulling one out after the other. This year it's just um, 
the odd one or two here and there. Very strange. So I think we've got, well, we've got half a dozen to take home with us to stick in the freezer. So that'll do. It's been very pleasant, if not a bit windy. A bit windy, Mark, isn't it? But it's not very often you get the fish right next to oil rigs and huge ships. That one over there is enormous. Definitely if you're up this way, come and give it a try. There's some great um, shore marks as well for bottom fishing and stuff. Mark's in. Oh, he's just dropped one. Ah, he's got the other one up. Nice. Another one for the bag. <laughs> Screechy seagulls. Well, we're in the final casts of uh, fishing holiday 2023. Well, it's been more than a fishing holiday, but we're just showing you the fishing parts. We've done other stuff. It's been very nice. Yeah, that wind's picking right up now. What do you reckon? Five more casts each? Yeah. 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 Right, we're going to. We're going to do five more casts each and then that's it. So five more after this has been brought in. Right, one. Two. Three. Come on, one more fish. Synchronised fishing here. Ready? Oh, hang on, let's get my thing off. That's it. Ready? This is the fourth. And the fifth cast, fifth and final cast. See the rainbow just on the left of the oil rig. Yeah. There's a rainbow just starting on the left of the oil rig over there. I don't know if you can make it out in the camera or not. No, right. That's it. All done. <sighs> Hi, I don't know if you can hear us. It's extremely windy. We've just finished the fishing on the pier. We've had half a dozen mackerel and we're heading home. That's it for the trip. Um, it's been very good, very enjoyable. fish after fish last year 
but it's fine I don't mind it's about being out and about not about catching the fish uh, we've both had an excellent time I hope you've enjoyed watching the video um, there's been some spectacular scenery and a fair few fish pulled out as well nothing major but it was all enjoyable stuff and I'll plan another adventure after this so until then cheers I'll see you later see you tomorrow. bye <laughs>